Hey everybody, what's up? It's Neon Tiger, and welcome to Megasphere. This is a uh, first look that we're doing today of a game that's in early access on Steam. Uh, it's kind of in alpha phase right now, but this is a pretty cool little game by a fellow named Anton Kudin, and Anton has... Oh, there we go. We'll go to a new game here. This isn't. This is a very early game, so I was thinking about doing a series on this, but I kind of want to wait for the full game to come out before I before I really think about that because I want to get the full experience of doing like a, a let's play of this rather than just a uh, you know a game that's going to change over time and it might even change while I'm doing it. So I thought let's do a first look now. We can do more stuff later if there's you know if there's enough interest in that, including possibly a. A full let's play. Well, I gotta figure out if I like it too, but at least graphically it looks nice at the start menu. So we're gonna, gonna go ahead and start a new game. Uh, looks like we get a choice where we want to start at. Alright, so into the anomaly entrance. Ooh. Cinematic backstory. So it's a for those of you wondering what kind of game this is, it is a uh, an action platformer with a few uh, a few roguelike elements to it. So, ATA the Jupiter is nowhere to be seen. There's a gravitational anomaly in this place. Shall we investigate? Uh, like any good story, it uh, it starts out with a mystery. Absolutely. Can we dock anywhere? Apparently, yes. There's an entrance nearby. So. The, uh, the ATAI dude is, oh, 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 I guess, uh, oh, I can skip, but I don't want to skip that. I don't want to skip the intro. Yeah, oh my goodness, this looks so beautiful. This is such a pretty game. It's kind of got this pixel art look to it. So, I've got one... Got yeah, one stick. To, got twin stick controls. One I'm aiming with my cannon, and then one I'm moving my player around. So it looks like I've got left, right. Oh, oh. So down there's a there's a dash. Is there a dash? Hmm. I just said dash there. I don't know how. Oh, and that's my so my map is X. So. What's my inventory be? Oh, there's a gun. That's... Okay, so that's that. Oh, it, make, it makes different sounds. That's really cool. Oh, so that's a jump. So I've got two different jump buttons. I've got A... Oh, okay. So if I... If I hold down an A, I can dash every once in a while, it looks like. There's gotta be a, a timer, a recharge timer on that, I guess. Um... Oh, oh, okay. So I guess you go down. Oh, wow, that was really cool. Oh, and look at this. This moves. Oh, and I can shoot him. Wow, so the environments are kind of are breakable. That's really cool. Just a small thing, and you get little sparks. All right. Oh, so I guess we go down here. Oh, whoa. There's a, a floating thing down there. I guess there must be a platform I have to open up, so I'll probably have to go down here. And what's this? Oh, there we go. There's the button. Oh, there's a little thing. Go down here. What's down here? Huh, there's gotta be something down there. Which I guess I have to do some more exploring to figure this out. So get out here. There's those. That's interesting. There's a little platform. It <laughs> bounces me back up, so I have to be careful. Oh, if I just do a, a quick one, I guess it does the dash. Interesting. Oh, and those are buttons up there. Huh. Nice. So, oh, there's a button up here too. So I guess I can hit that button. And we're gonna hit that. And that opens up that one. Oh, so those are all open now. Which I guess will give me access to going down if I want. I don't really have a choice, it looks like. Because 
pretty sure I got rid of all the other ways. Oh, and that's just a, oh, a hover thing. Whoa, that's cool. So we'll drop on down here. And what is this? Gravity, if my analysis is correct, brace for more of these effects while traveling downward the well, chilling downwards the anomaly. Interesting. Um, oh, whoa. Oh, that's cool. So there's like little gravity effects that you run into and you kind of have to navigate them. That's, a, uh, that's cool. A little light burn, burning in and out. So there should be some enemies around here somewhere. At some point, we're going to come across them. There we go. What was that? Can I interact with that? So that's my map. Oh, it's locked. Half dead god, what does that mean? No records of that in my database. However, I'm sensing traces to RP1 LLX exhaust. What could that be? There's a derelict mining platform seven light seconds from here, old enough to be equipped with RP-1 uh, LOX engines. Plot the course. Affirmative. Get on board and we will be on our way. Okay. I wonder if this is like the, uh... What does that say? What does that say? Only the half-dead god and I pass the gates of sin. Ah. Okay. Interesting. So, I guess... I have to go back here. Oh, I'm seeing. It looks like there's a. Is there a platform? Is there is there a way to get up? There's not a way to get up there. That's the problem. Oh yes, there is. I wonder if I can go this way. Can I go this way? And is there something over here? I like. Ex Ooh, there's things. Things to explore. A secret hidden room. I don't know what's in here. But. Secrets must mean something. Unless there's a way out to get up there, which I guess I don't have. So I probably should follow the way out here. And actually go up to here. Oh no, no, don't leave me, don't leave me, come back. Come back, platform! Okay, there we go. So then this will come. I think it'll take me up now. Okay. We're good. We're good. I guess we gotta go up platforms, huh? Makes sense. But wow, look, the sound, the soundtrack sounds great, first and foremost. And just the, the atmosphere feels really good, too. It's certainly the kind of game that you can get lost in. Oh, I guess we're going do we go back inside? Yep. So we're gonna go back inside and off to wherever our ship wants to take us. We haven't found any combat yet. Uh, this is all back this must be all be backstory. Interesting. Whoa, what is this place? Looks kind of creepy. It's glowing on different colors. It's huge. Yeah, definitely huge. It is. Oh, it's responding to our ID, our Q. Norad Aegis Cat number, category number 2034570058, Pakistani mining platform, Yotish. This thing is old. Early 21st century. That old, wow. So this is actually from, from right now. Should we expect resistance? Wideband sensor scans reveal nothing, but anything could happen. Once we land, I can't follow you, so no hand-holding. Understood. Investigate and come back. We'll get to the bottom of it. I'll continue to broadcast our ID in case someone responds. Roger, here I go, ship. Best of luck, you, man of form. So yeah, that's the uh, the ship that we're talking to, by the way. Because that's the future, so we talk to our ships. And now I think we actually get into the, the combat and the fun. 
pretty sure. Because the hint is kind of... Well, I don't know. There's something on my scanners, but... Can never be too sure, right? So... My thought is there must be... Some enemies hanging around here somewhere. It's kind of cool that we have this map. Oh, what's this? Welcome to Yotish. Once a human place, now a museum of sorts. Tread carefully. Do not anger the gods. This sounds more like a threat than anything else. What is this? Oh. Go through this door here. I wonder if that leads somewhere. Yeah, it leads us to a, a new place. Interesting. Oh, I can't go back out that door. This could be problematic. Could be problematic if there's oh some some baddies here. Oh, come on. So that's the one thing maybe I would consider not liking so much is this the dashing. I'm not a fan of the dashing yet. Because I don't feel like I can control it. That's what kind of sucks. That I can. That I can definitely control the platforms. Oh, there we go. Got ourselves a first boss. Uh, not boss. The first creature. Whoa! I'm defending myself. It's not really attacking me. It's like it's running away. Oh, this guy wants a piece of me, doesn't he now? You want a piece of me, buddy? Hey. Oh. Oh, wow. He blew, he blew up a chunk there. Interesting. Oh, wow. So I got something out of that, right? What you, oh, ow. Okay. You are not friendly. Oh my goodness, I'm actually blowing up parts of the ship. You don't like that. You don't like getting shot at, do you? Oh, 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 okay, fire. That is fire. It's not good. He didn't like that. He actually, that is actually really cool. He ran away from me. Like, a lot of times, a lot of times those bosses, you know, or those enemies, they just attack you, but... Like, the AI feels responsive in this game. It feels like it reacts to... I'm gonna blow that up just to get that out of the way. But it feels like it reacts to uh, your actions. I don't know, maybe... Maybe is there a way I could do a pacifist run of this? Now, that would be really cool if there's a way to do, like, a pacifist run where you don't kill anything. That would be a... I feel like that would be, might be a real challenge. Oh, 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 Sweet. Spinning blade disc. Spinning blade disc. Oh, God. Okay. I survived that. Oh, wow. Things... I don't know if I should not have, uh... I don't know if I angered the gods by... By attacking one of those dudes? And did it suddenly tell everything, Hey, this is a hostile thing and you should kill it? Versus... Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 What are you? Oh my goodness. Oh god. Well, they go down pretty easy. That's a, that's a good thing. Oh, I go down pretty easy. Ow. Whew, okay. Oh, so those are... Like little energy pellets to keep me alive. Oh, please die. Oh, 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 uh, those, are, those are explosive. I didn't know that. Okay, that, those also explode. Alright. Get those out of the way. So that's good. I kind of feel like... I wish there was, you know... I'm, I guess it's a thing you have to learn by playing, but... 
that? Oh, there are little indicators on my map. I wonder if that's like, hey, you should go here, kind of indicators. This thing feels huge. This ship feels monstrously huge. It feels like it could go on forever. Oh, I think I go down here. Jump over that. Oh. I like that things can snag you, just... It just feels like it's, you know... That much more... Impressive, and like the details have been really... Thought over. Okay, nothing down here. So maybe... Maybe I go... Back this way? map tells me to go because the map says that's all dead and end and I, I think this guy this guy I scared off has retreated to the top area there yeah he's up there I see him now Wonder if I can shoot him he's hanging out over here oh I blew him up cool so I guess those are enemies I have to be careful of. Wow, this is a huge ship. Is this all one map? Oh my goodness. If it, that, was, that would be actually really cool if this whole ship was just, you know, if it was just one map. Oh wow. That's really cool that it does. Uh, that works like that too. Oh, and there's a button over here. So, oh, nope. I have to get get a hold hang of a dash. That's like the number one thing to to keep in mind here. Oh, another, another dude up there. Oh, he's hit me with lasers. Lasers! Lasers! Lasers no good. I really like the way that these enemies respond, like they, like it's, you know, like they are responding very organically. Oh, and I blew them up. Cool. But they're almost acting like, like real creatures. Whoa. So it looks like there is a whole area up there that I get to explore. If, I, if I'm careful. Oh. <laughs> I'm not very careful. All right, so let's try this again. See if we can actually get up there. But yeah, there's a lot. It's definitely has a, uh, a little bit of a Metroidvania feel to it, though it's not necessarily like Metroidvania-esque in my mind yet. Could certainly be. I mean, there's nothing that's really, you know, stopping it from being that. So far, it's just. I haven't played enough of it to make that determination yet. Okay, so there is more stuff there, but I can't get across. Oh, I can dash across, but I can't get my dash to work right. Uh, whoa! Whoa. What are you? Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Whoa, what was that? I just took something out. I don't even realize what I'm doing yet. Uh, I just blew something up. Oh, oh. That guy's after me now. Yeah, he isn't like... You don't like that, do you? Oh. You're mine. Say goodbye, sucker. This is actually really hard to deal with these guys because you're uh, having to fight them, and you're trying to to get them to stay still, and they won't stay still because they're they're acting very organically and trying to flee. That's actually. Very interesting way of making this not necessarily more difficult, but give it a different challenge. 
what's up here? Oh, more of these. More of these guys. Oh. I guess. Oh, what was that? I got a power up of some sort. I think I did. 100% certain on that. Okay, oh. I'm taking a lot of damage here. I gotta be careful. So I'm just kind of firing up and hoping I hit them. Uh, they do show up on my. They do show up there. Oh. Oh god, there's two of them. Okay. So I guess this one first. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Him. Now that guy. Okay. Oh, he got damaged. And it blew up. I didn't want to. I didn't want to pick up the uh, stuff for some reason. Oh. 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 Please blow up. Please blow up. Please blow up. Oh god. I'm taking damage. Okay. Alright. Ooh, another power up. So I have stuff, I have stuff. Oh! These are upgrades, I guess. Upgrade, upgrade token, upgrade tokens, reflection. So what does that do? Oh, can I use it to. I'm just trying to figure out how to use those things. Oh, I see. I see. I can, uh. If I go here. Oh, oh, crap. Okay, that's why, that's why I'm getting shot at. Because something is actually shooting at me. I thought, what's going on there? Alright, do I have anything else that's up there? One thing that's up there, but it's. It's too far away. So that's interesting that you can get attacked on the menu. Oh. Oh! Did we get to... How does that work? Oh, do I have to... Oh, I can upgrade my weapons! Okay. Okay, that's cool. I'm just trying to figure out how this, this menu works. Oh, no. Let's see. Uh, so this is like a... Uh, so I can do... How do I get this to go over there? Because that's one thing I don't know how to do yet. So yeah, I can, these are upgrades that I can use. Oh, what was that? Oh, I must mean if I drop. I must mean drop that. Okay. Okay. Where's the uh, the cursor popping over to? Hmm. So it looks like there's an upgrade system as well. I just don't know how to use it. Oh, that guy's chasing me. Run away! Ow! 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 <laughs> oh, that one hurt really bad. Youch. I guess I'll just shoot this guy instead. Oh, he's got four arms. Like four arm octopus diggies, not like four arms. Like he has four arms and hind legs. Oh dear God! No! 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 Oh wow! That guy hurts like hell. Oh, not good. Oh, and then, all right. Now we're starting to get into uh, really dangerous territory here. Please blow up, thank you. I need your heals. So there's an upgrade system. I just can't get the. I just can't figure out how to work it. Because like this, I can upgrade my weapons. Okay. 
Oh, so do I have to... Does it have to be the right shape? Okay. Maybe it has to be the right shape. Oh, is that it? It's gotta be the right shape. That's probably... A... Oh, I can't do that then. Because... It looks like that those aren't the right shapes for that. Okay. Interesting. Oh, 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 no, 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 Get me out of here, please. No, 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 no. I need to get out. Oh, this is not good. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Oh, God. Please, please kill him. Thank you. Okay. Alright, so I killed that guy. I wonder if I can kill one of these big tank guys. I just have to be smart about it, probably. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, oh I dodged him. Okay, no. Nope. nope. Didn't dodge that one. Oh. Well. That went well. <laughs> I guess I can't take him out. Dang it. Oh, man. Skip that. Is that the just the intro screen? Maybe it's just a screen that we get here when we die. Nope. Oh. Is that permadeath? Oh. I didn't realize that was permadeath. Oh, well. Well, that's my bad. But in any case, that's that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, I guess. But, uh... Yeah, well, give it a shot. We gave it our best shot, and we died. But, hey, you live and you learn. It's just our first little experiment. Very interesting game. Very beautiful looking game. I have to get the hang of the uh, the dashing and the, the menus, I think. Because the menus don't have any text on them. They're very... Well, the in-game menus don't have text. You have... Uh, well, a little bit of text, but it doesn't really like hold your hand and tell you, okay, you press this to do that. You have to figure it all out for yourself or find somebody who knows how to do it. But I'm sure maybe that'll change in a future version. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time here on First Look with another game. Uh, maybe you'll see more of uh, Megasphere in the future as it gets a little bit closer to final release. Uh, check it out if you think it's interesting. And I'll see you next time.